Prelux. Yeah. Otherwise, they got away. All righty, Casey. Have a, Have a good one, guys. You too. We'll see you around. Yeah. I'll swing by Bass Pro. I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of money there for uh, gift cards. There Woo! you go. He's hooked up. Yeah, I work um, Thursday. Yeah, it's now Thursdays through Sundays. Okay, sweet. Right on. Oh, these fight way better than the chub. <laughs> nah, that's yeah. gonna be a cold. Couple of them put up a good fight. Woo! Yeah, uh. <laughs> it's about dang time. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Humbug Outdoors Fishing. It's your boy C. Smith here. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to do an intro. I wanted to just start off with a fish catch. And this is fish number one for the day. A beautiful kokanee salmon. This is actually my first kokanee ever through the ice. Uh, we are up here at a local Tahoe Lake. It's about four or five inches of ice, so it's thick ice, safe. Um, it's really clear ice too, which is good. And yeah, we are vertical jigging in 40 feet of water for kokanee today. So yeah, got a bunch more fish on the graph. The limit's five. So hoping to pick up my limit and uh, get out of here and go for some trout. So, woo! All right. I'll show you guys what I am using here in a second. I'm gonna drop down and try to catch one more here. There is a giant school underneath me right now. We're fishing about 40 feet of water, right? And then I'm just dropping down these tiny little jigs. Um, you can use a cast master, whatever it is, you know, just make sure to tip it with a little bit of bait. But yeah, it's basically, it's, it's kind of just finding the fish. Once you find the fish, it's pretty much game over. Um, yeah, see like I got one fish that just came up on me right there. I got a bunch of marks on me. And we're up. Oh. They fight pretty good too, actually. They don't fight enough to have to pull the transducer out, but they fight good. Oh, and it's a chub. So yeah, I know he's all snowed up here for you guys, but this is a Tui Chub. They are native to the Tahoe region. Super cool, cool little fish. He actually fought pretty hard too, but we're gonna get him back. We're not keeping him. I don't think he would eat the best. Don't be a chub. Be a coke. Woo! Mm. Kokanee number two for the day. Give you guys a quick look here. That is a kokanee salmon. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful little fish. Look at that guy right there. Ah, frick. Gorgeous silverly, you know, silvery color to them. Uh, I've caught them when they're all spawned up and stuff in the creeks, and, you know, in streams and stuff too, but this is when they're the best eating, and we will definitely be eating these. I don't know if I'm gonna do a catch and cook for you guys here, but uh, I do wanna do one in the future. But either way, boom, fish number two. Show you guys what I'm using today here real quick. I know I got a lot of marks on the screen, but just kind of the same thing I've been doing the last couple trips for trout. Just one of these small little three millimeter tungsten jig heads, um, and then I'm just tipping it with a little bit of a wax worm. It takes a while for it to drop because we are fishing 40 feet, but once you get it down there, it's pretty much fish on once you find the spot. So. Yeah, got the school pretty fired up right now. Um, I was also jigging a cast master as well, and the cast masters work exceptionally well for these fish because it, it gets them really fired up and just, you know, gets them going. And then I think once the school was fired up, I kind of came in with this little jig, and they're smoking it the second it goes down. So, all right, let's go get another. Not a whole lot of fish on the graph right now. But they're biting. Yeah. Come on. Oh, that's a good one too. Mm. Another absolutely stunning little kokanee right there. I mean, it is 
they're flipping everywhere. It is the second your bait drops down. If you know, if you're in the right spot, the second your bait hits the bottom, it's gonna be fish on every time. It's, it's pretty incredible. Actually, let me show you guys something here. Show you guys on my Garmin. Hopefully you guys can get a good shot here. But see like, see that right there? Those are all fish right there in the graph. That's another fish moving up. That's another fish there. Every one of those little red, every one of those lines, like that right there, that's a school of fish. Maybe only one or two fish, but like when you get a bunch of red like that, that's a whole school feeding in there. And that's what I'm dropping my bait down to. And that's what's hooking the fish. There we are. Ooh, feels a little, feels like a little more weight to him. Let's see if we can get him up. Yeah. Let's get our last kokanee on the board because the limit here uh, at this lake is five kokanee. Actually, five is pretty much the limit for most places um, besides like, I believe Bullards is 10. I believe there's one or two other waters that are 10, but pretty much everywhere it's five. So yeah, let's try to get one more here. What a great way to start 2021 with a, uh, a species and technique I have not done through the ice yet. So we've still got We've still got some good stuff coming because I haven't even started my lake trout ice fishing videos, which is pretty much the thing I was looking forward to most this year on the ice. So we've got that to, to, uh, to get as well, which is going to be a blast. We're on. We are on. What is it? Please be a kokanee. Please be a kokanee. Yes, baby. And that, folks, is my last kokanee of the day. It was a little bit of a grind um, because of my broken rod tip and uh, I definitely didn't get on the bite as early as I should have today. I spent a lot more time fishing shallow for browns in the morning and uh, I don't know, I messed up some things today, but whatever, still got them done. Got my uh, limit of good eaten Cokes here. And so, yeah. There she is, folks. That right there is a kokanee salmon. It's a, basically, it's a landlocked sockeye salmon. Uh, we stock them in a lot of lakes and reservoirs in California. They A lot of them have successful spawning as well. So they actually come into the rivers to spawn and then come back into the lake as well. So yeah, we get really good numbers of them in here. Obviously, I mean, the graph is still just lit up. So I know I could catch more fish if I wanted to. Ooh, that's bad, son, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the stuff you're supposed to do for YouTube video. And yeah, we will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this was kind of a shorter, shorter little episode, but I wanted to get something out for 2021. And I thought, why not do something that I haven't done yet before? Look forward to some more ice fishing videos coming soon, more regular fishing, you know, salt water, fly fishing, a little bit of everything coming your way. So yeah, we will see you guys next time on Humbug Outdoors Fishing.